as witnesses. Ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, the audio-visual presentation that you are seeing and presented before you are some of the assets and upgrades under the administration of President Duterte. Our capital ships have been our workforce in the performance of our functions, particularly maritime security and law enforcement. The PCG, under the guidance of our Secretary, Attorney Arthur Vigilare, has procured remote control weapon systems to be mounted at the P-10 PCG multi-role response vessels. This will be the students of our ships in enforcing maritime laws and ensuring that our sea lanes are secured and free from the threat of the best elements. Elmer F. Mendezabal, Seacan from Santa Clara to 
San Pascual, Batangas. Luisito M. Macalala, Sikat from Mabini, Tutingloy, Batangas. Peter B. Alcantara, Sikat from Taal Day, Agoncillo, San Nicolas, Alitagtal, Cuenca, Lipas City, Batangas. Wilfredo H. Porzon, Sikat from San Luis, Level, Calac, Batangas. George Q. Cantos, Sikat from Novo, San Juan, Batangas. Dorante Harris, Sikat from San Nicolas, Taal. Bonito M. Magbantay, Sikat from Isla Verde. And finally, Nelson Y. Kansang and Jim, Sikat from Laurel, Alisay, Kanawan, Balete, Patas, Natal. At this point, may we request the Deputy Commander of the Coast Guard Adjutant's Office, Coast Guard Lieutenant Junior Grade Edeline P. Maliao, for the reading of the appointment order. Philippine Coast Guard, National Headquarters, Philippine Coast Guard, 139 20th Street, Port Area 1018 Manila. Pursuant to General Orders No. 211-8, dated 14 October 2021, Section 1, Appointment. Mr. Herbert B. Montanier and five others are hereby appointed to the service of the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary with the rank of Auxiliarist effective 14 October 2021. Section 2, Designation. Auxiliarist Herbert B. Montanier, ECGA, and five others are hereby designated as members of the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary 109 Auxiliary Squadron effective 14 October 2021. By command of Coast Guard Vice Admiral Arroyo, official, Coast Guard Commander Ferdinand B. Picard, Chief of Coast Guard Staff, signed, Coast Guard Commander Jason L. B. Burr, Coast Guard Adjutant. At this point, may we request the Secretary of the Department of Transportation, Attorney Arthur B. Tugane, to lead the symbolic oath taking of the auxiliaries. Welcome to 
dedicated to you. Thank you once again, Attorney Arthur P. Tagada, sir, and congratulations to the newly appointed members of the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary. Let us give them again a big round of applause. Thank you. And from the Embassy of Japan, 
Central Temple, Taiwan Economic and Cultural Office. And before I forget, our secret weapon, the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary. Please stand up and be recognized, headed by Commodore De La Peña and Commander Dieter Ocampo. And those that we just uh, who took their oaths are uh, auxiliaries from the coastal barangays. Please stand up and be recognized. And let's give them a big round of applause for volunteering their services. Fellow officers and men and women of the Philippine Coast Guard, a pleasant day to all of us. Through the years, our organization has meaningfully advanced as a frontliner in ensuring the implementation of maritime safety, security, search and rescue, law enforcement, and environmental protection. We had a tough year last year, but today, we celebrate accomplishments that truly depict our dedication at work. Activation of Task Force Pagsasanay to step up the Coast Guard presence and operations in the West Philippine Sea. The signing of the tripartite agreement among Coast Guard, PNP, and AFP. The groundbreaking of the very first PCG PPA K9 Academy, sponsored by the by our boss, Boss J of PPA, and of course our the project of our secretary. The granting of the certificate of compliance for the ISO 9001-2015 Quality Management System Standard for, for Coast Guard Education Training and Doctrine Command and the installation of the first PCG radio repeater at the highest peak all over the NCR and Cavite area in Palace in the Sky, Tagaytay. Despite the current threats brought about by the pandemic, the men and women of the Coast Guard did not stop in selflessly devoting and providing humanitarian service to the Filipino people all over the country. With that, I am proud to say that you were born to become the best version of ourselves. To the officers, I am looking forward to witnessing more of your collaborative efforts that manifested your resiliency. Likewise, I believe that you will allow the non-officers and civilian personnel to grow in their respective fields of expertise. Having said that, I hope that you desire for your novel profession that it will be sustained well. Moreover, I commend you for your hard work and good heart. To the non-officers and civilian personnel, always obey the orders of your officers. Witnessing how you exert your best in any task is the virtue of a true Coast Guard man. I hope that you will continue to provide assistance to one another and bridge gaps among yourselves. In addition, I would also like to commend all of you for your compassion. As a seagoing force, you are all expected to continue selflessly devoting your time and accomplish your respective duties and responsibilities with utmost confidence. Happy 120th founding anniversary at Mabuhay ang Tanong Baybayin ng Pilipinas. At this time, I invite you to join me as we celebrate our accomplishments. Together, let us cherish our milestones as we watch this simple audio-visual 